Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this glass jar, this wooden plaque, and orange burlap. I started with the orange burlap, this I got from Walmart, and I just cut off the end because it was a little bit frayed, and then I used my rotary cutter to cut strips about an inch and a half. I ended up only needing 13 of them, but I did cut extra. Next I took Mod Podge and this glass bowl from Dollar Tree and I brushed a strip of the Mod Podge on the side and bottom of the bowl. So I'm holding it upside down. Then I place a strip of my burlap on the Mod Podge, just pressing it down to put it into place. And then I did another layer of Mod Podge, this time putting some of it on the burlap, just a little bit on the edge. So my next strip will be overlapping the first one. And then I just keep doing that until I have it completely filled in all the way around. After I had it all covered, I just went around with my heating tool and just pushed down with my fingers on the burlap just to make sure that it was all pushed down and flat against the glass bowl. And then I just trimmed up some of the excess burlap on the top. And then that last piece I had put on there, I used as kind of just a cover for the rest of it. Just added more Mod Podge on the top, placed down the burlap and just pushed it down, making sure it was as flat as possible on the top, or I should say the bottom of the bowl, which is the top of my pumpkin. And then flipped it over and trimmed up the excess burlap on the open part of the bowl. And then I took tacky glue and kind of went along the strips where the burlap is overlapping and added the tacky glue and then some twine and just went around doing that to make some lines on the pumpkin. Just placed down the twine and then pushed it down against the tacky glue. And you can see the glue right now, but it will dry clear. I just made sure to kind of start the glue and the twine up on the top of the pumpkin in the center and then brought it all the way down, trimming it up at the bottom. And then again, using my heating tool to dry that tacky glue and push down the twine, making sure it was completely attached. And then I took this four inch wood round plaque from Hobby Lobby and applied home decor wax by Folk Art. And I just brushed it on with a baby wipe, blending it in and covered the thing entirely. And then I took this wood stem from Dollar Tree, hot glued that to the top of my pumpkin, right in the center of the twine. Then took a couple of leaves off of a floral pick from Dollar Tree, a fall floral pick, and just hot glued those right next to my stem. And then hot glued some Spanish moss right around that stem as well. And I also added a couple of these little berries from off of that same pick. Last thing I did was place down this little LED light from Dollar Tree onto my plaque and then place down my pumpkin. 
and I am so happy with how this turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today I'll be using this glass bowl and candle holder from Dollar Tree and this wood plaque and dowel cap from Hobby Lobby. I started by sanding down the four inch wood plaque from Hobby Lobby and then wood gluing the dowel cap to the bottom center of the little round plaque. I just set those aside for now. I then took plaster chalk paint by Waverly and painted the entire candle holder. Now I've only seen these a couple times at Dollar Tree. If you can't find one like this, they have those plain glass ones that would work just fine. So I painted it one coat, dried it completely, and then on my second coat, I took a sponge to apply the second coat. That way I did not see any of the paintbrush marks. Next, I took mineral chalk paint, also by Waverly, and put just a small amount on the side of a sponge brush and kind of just rubbed the side of the sponge along those little pieces that stick out on the candle holder just to give it a bit of distressing. I didn't want it too dark, so once I applied it, I took a baby wipe and blended in those markings. Next, I took this clear matte finish by Waverly and applied that to the entire wooden plaque and dowel cap. You can definitely paint it the same color as the candle holder or separate color. I just really liked the wood color of it and I thought it would look really nice on this project. And next I'm gluing the glass bowl onto the candle holder. So on the bottom of the bowl, I took quick hold glue, which is by E6000 and hot glue, and then placed it down on the candle holder. Next, I filled it in with some pine cones and little pumpkins from Dollar Tree, as well as some fairy lights. And I just love how this project turned out. This one I wanted to decorate for fall, but using a different piece on the bottom. I think I'm gonna make a few for my bathroom for Q-tips and things like that. And the plaque from Hobby Lobby, this four inch plaque, if you put it upside down, fits perfectly as a cover inside this glass bowl. And then once I have it all filled, I just turn that plaque upside down and it fits perfectly. And then for a little extra something, I took this faux leather leaf from Dollar Tree. It just has the word blessed on it and I tied that around the candle holder. And that is it for this project. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching.